There are two sides to every story. And then there's the truth. And it's a good lesson to keep in mind when it comes to the Ukraine invasion, which is a war of artillery and airstrikes, but also a war of information. Both sides are digging in for what looks like a slow, grueling counteroffensive this summer. And both have a huge interest in manipulating the public narrative in their favor. After 24 hours of chaos following Wagner Group head Yevgeny Prigozhin's attempted coup about face, and then exodus to Belarus, Russian President Vladimir Putin needs to project an image of stability and complete control. For Ukraine, the truth of the counteroffensive is only that it's happening. Counter-naступальні оборонні дії відповідні відбуваються в Україні, на якій стадії я не буду говорити детально. President Zelensky is staying quiet about goals, and that's exactly the point. As the Ukrainian Defense Ministry said in early June, plans love silence. The truth is Ukraine's army will likely try to reach the Sea of Azov, breaking up the front line and cutting off Russia's land bridge to Crimea. So far, they've launched long-range attacks on the front line in the south and localized strikes in places like Bakhmut to probe for Russian weaknesses. Kiev also has its fingerprints on cross-border attacks in Belgorod and in Moscow. But early reports of heavy casualties and equipment losses show that so far, at least, the Ukrainian counteroffensive is going worse than planned. But inside Russia, the story of the counteroffensive is a lot different. Сегодня цивилизация вновь находится на решающем переломном рубеже. Против нашей родины вновь развязана настоящая война. With no independent media and very little access to the outside internet, the Kremlin completely controls the messaging, especially on Russia's popular political talk shows. СВО заканчивается, начинается народная война. At the start of the war, the pundits enthusiastically supported what Putin called his special military operation, repeating the Kremlin's claim that it was fighting Nazis in eastern Ukraine. When it became clear the invasion wasn't going as planned, the rhetoric expanded to justify a longer war against a much bigger threat. We are NATO. Это не Украина, это НАТО, это все их мощности, которые сейчас против нас. On state media, NATO and the collective West have launched a formidable offensive using all their power and military strength with a singular goal of destroying Russia. The invasion has gone from a special military operation to an existential war for the survival of the country. Now that messaging has changed, but the themes are familiar to anyone paying attention to Putin. The Russian president thinks the collapse of the Soviet Union was, and I quote, the greatest geopolitical tragedy of the 20th century. In Putin's view, Russia only lost territory, influence, and money when former Soviet republics like Georgia, Estonia, and Ukraine formed their own governments after the fall of the Soviet Union. Нету это Украины, это территория России, это территория того советского той России, который когда-то назывался Советским Союзом. Putin doesn't see his former neighbors as allies or even as independent countries, but rather as traitors who bit the hand that fed them. And for a loyal Russian TV audience of tens of millions, that's their version of the truth. 